I think Court really dominated in that sense because she's she kept me in line, she kept us organized, she got that list going, she had all the legs memorized, and she kept us organized while I was uh, Mr. I Spy. So that, I think that's what really gave us that leg up. Leg up, I like it. <laughs> Um, I, there's definitely no I in team. I don't think that it could have, it's me. I mean, I accredit a lot of our success to how we did in the race. Like we didn't do that great. We kind of called it grooming, like, um, kind of playing at the back of the pack gave us a little bit of an edge in the sense that we, we knew what it was like to feel the pressure of not being in first and, and using it as fuel to keep going. Um, I do think though that our BAM, in BAMF, like the getting all that stuff did give us did give us a bit of an edge because Adam was sniping stuff and I was writing it down and we did it really fast. We made up a ton of time. Well, I think navigation for her, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess us. But uh, I would say the hand dance, the, da uh, the dance of a thousand hands in Jakarta. Uh, I think Canada saw quite blatantly that I am not a dancer. Yeah, for me it was the paintball. I had a full-blown meltdown in there as well. Like it was very intense in real life. I think it was hard to capture how really intense it was on film, but I panicked and was trying to rip my helmet off and Adam had to kind of reel me back in. I've never been at level 10 stress and anxiety. There's nights, you know, she'd be sleeping just fine and I would be up pacing around the room, writing in the journal, thinking about things and, and you just can't shut it off. And I'm, I can usually just empty it right out and fall asleep and, and this was... It took us a, close to a month, I think, to recover. When we came home, our best friends were like, you look 10 years older. And we're like, mm, lovely, thanks. But we felt 10 years older, like it was, it was so intense. You wanna hit yours first? Um, I think overall just like what it did for our relationship and working together and how, you know, it brought us, I feel like, closer together and it was like the therapy we didn't know we needed kind of. So I think that for me was a real highlight. I, it started off strong for me with that beaver jump that was, they set that up just for us. <laughs> so that was so cool to do it and I got to do it twice. Uh, coming into this, people were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're going to do this, and you know, this could go wrong, and, and it never crossed my mind, and I was like, oh yeah, I, I guess so, but, uh, and, and you know, everybody we talked to, they said, oh, I could never do that with my significant other, and uh, you don't know until you try, right, you get, really got to, you got to push that and test that relationship, and and it, it does build you up, like Court said, it was the therapy we never knew we needed, so it, it, uh, it brought us to a whole nother level. And Keep cool and stay positive and lean on each other. I think most importantly, like our relationship is 10 times stronger than it was. I didn't know that I could love this guy any more than I already did, and I do. Well, it's kind of funny that you ask, actually, because Adam's birthday was just in July, right? And so after we got home and we kind of did recover from the race, it would seem, life seemed a little bit mundane and like I'm like where you know every morning we get up we know where we're going we know what we're doing and so I was like I guess naturally the next thing we have to do is jump out of a plane so we recently went skydiving for Adam's birthday which was a super adrenaline rush ah, you know what I'm, I'm part of the heavy rescue team in Calgary uh, and we, that, we do that stuff all the time we're, we're rope specialists and uh, we hook up high lines we have we use a lot of the same equipment uh, you know, we repel from high buildings, we do rope rescue. So all of that equipment, all that gear, I was in my element and obviously I went first and I'm a little heavier so I waited the system and <laughs> she knew it was safe. <laughs> I'm just so glad Adam had to do that first challenge of jumping and rescuing the beaver because that for me going in like heights and um, claustrophobia were kind of my thing. Um, I don't know, it was so much adrenaline I feel like I, anything they threw, to, threw at me, I, I would have just done it even if I was terrified. I just, I loved the rush. It was full on Courtney's idea. Uh, I was laid up after back surgery, so she'd, she'd put the Amazing Race on and at first I would try not to pay attention, but then it, it kept, okay, and then it draws me in and all of a sudden now I'm a super fat. So I would sit there and say, oh, why would they do that? That's dumb. Or, and, and she would say, oh yeah, you think so, right? Like, why don't we go do it? And I said, yeah, we dominate and then we didn't. <laughs> we, they said go and I panicked. <laughs> Make sure that you pick the right partner. That's the hardest part of it. Get the right partner and you'll do well. And learn how to read a map. Yeah. I honestly think uh, wheelchair races when we're 80. <laughs> you know, maybe some jumps set up uh, and obviously still loving each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah.